very interesting topic that is keeping healthy which is about a good health especially nowadays a good health is very important and i hope you are taking a very good care of your health in your home and in order to be healthy you must doing something obviously yes there is a popular way to take care of your health that is food let us discuss about food nowadays food is very important to our body to grow and has to be healthy also there are some types of food like energy giving food body building food and productive food for example you are having a different teachers to handle the different subjects right similarly our body also needs a different nutrients to functioning the different works let us study about nutrients the food we eat contains certain substances that are essential for us to live to grow and stay healthy these essential substances are called nutrients they help our body to function properly and perform various activities hence it is important that we understand the role of nutrients in our food and recognize the various foods that contain these nutrients the main nutrients that our body needs are proteins carbohydrates fats minerals and vitamins other than that these main nutrients our body also needs some amount of roughage and water to function properly so first one proteins proteins build our body and help our body to grow they make our body taller and very stronger that is why growing children needs more proteins our hairs nails muscles and organs are all made of proteins proteins also help in the repair and maintenance of our body and old cells in our body are constantly dying and new ones are being born our body needs protein to grow a new cells and repair the damaged cells foods that are rich in proteins are milk paneer pulses beans chicken and mutton so these are the foods are rich sources of proteins then the next one is carbohydrates so carbohydrates are the most important sources of energy for our body our body needs energy to function all our body functions such as breathing blood circulation and digestion are taking place in all the times even when we are sleeping these functions are going on each of these functions needs energy we need energy to do various physical activities such as running jumping playing and lifting weights then fats the body uses fats to maintain its temperature and fats provide the body with a high energy but we should eat fats in a very small amount when we eat more fats than our body needs the excess fat gets stored in our body this may lead to an unwelcome medical condition called obesity so we should contain the fat in our food in a very small amount only next one vitamins and minerals vitamins and minerals keeps us healthy and fruits and vegetables are the rich sources of vitamins and minerals there are different types of vitamins like vitamin c vitamin d vitamin k and vitamin a b like that so each of them having a different benefits for example vitamin c keeps the gum healthy and helps the body in absorbing iron vitamin d works with calcium and phosphorus to make stronger bones and teeth vitamin k helps in healing of wounds other vitamins are vitamin a vitamin e 
and vitamin B complex. These many vitamins we are having and then minerals. Minerals serves a variety of purposes. For example, helps in building strong bones and teeth. It also helps in blood circulation and uh, increasing the hemoglobin level. And iron is needs to build red blood cells and carry oxygen from the lungs to other body cells. Other minerals are important for the human body including iodine, magnesium, sodium, potassium and zinc. Then, so as vitamins are very essential for the human survival and needs for physical activities. Next one, water and it's very important thing. Water makes up about 60% of adult body weight. It is essential for us to stay alive. Most of our body organs need water to function properly. Water helps to maintain our body temperature. It also helps the body to get rid of wastage in the form of urine and sweat. We lose a lot of water through sweat and urine. To compensate this loss, we must drink water at regular intervals. Doctors advise to drink about 6 to 8 glasses of water in a day. Then, roughage. Dietary fiber or roughage is not digested by our body. However, it is essential part of our diet. It makes the moment of food in the digestive tract easier. It helps our body to get rid of undigested food. Fresh fruits and vegetables, whole grains, legumes and nuts are rich sources of roughage. Lack of fiber in our food can result in constipation and several other problems. So, we should always eat fiber in a large amount. Do you know about the balanced diet? All food items may not contain all the nutrients. Certain food may be rich in one nutrient but might lack other nutrients. The best way to eat is to include a variety of foods in our diet to ensure that we receive all nutrients. Just look at the pyramid. It shows different food groups arranged in a shape of a pyramid. It is recommended that we eat more food from the food groups at the bottoms and the food groups at the top has to be consumed in a very small amount. We should always take balanced diet that contains food from each food group in right amount. A balanced diet is the diet that provides our body with all essential nutrients in the right amount. Thank you.